rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. What the? Oh, ho oh, there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? Sir? Don't! Oh. Uh. Can people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? And put us out of work? I'd almost welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Spectre, going for a meat suit. I have another in sight. possession. We island kiss for you. Letters for Fort Jericho. That is your new job. Now you're a postman. Nah, not for me. Too dangerous. Thank you. 
get lost, won't you? Here, you know. Hmm. I sense the front. We may have found our victim. A very broken strong box. Empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money, and it's gone. there help me help me please oh, i know you you're the scudder boy help me up help me up there come boy there's blood but i'm not so badly hurt what are you doing put that blade away boy no 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 The rock didn't kill him, nor the water. The scudder boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. A dead messenger. A missing payroll. And a single name. We know two scudders, don't we? We do. And one of them isn't the sharpest knife in the bag. No pun intended. This would be a better book if it had pictures in it. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Your Lordship? Oh. Red. Mr. Scudder. Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What does he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish you wouldn't leave me. A messenger went missing, and the trail leads here. The trail? What kind of tra... Oh, that kind of trail. Was he killed? Who killed him? Who could have... No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Would he? Did he? By he... Do you mean your cousin? Beloved, I. But he couldn't. He's nothing like that. He's a good un. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes, yes, of course. 
if you think it important. I'll go take a look at your house now. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. By not pointing the finger, he pointed the finger. What does he know? Beloved's father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Beloved fears himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. He probably will. The apple falls close to the tree. There's nothing more to find here. Huh? You prying Scots busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says. And thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. Your haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. I've seen your work. I've seen the bodies. Take your investigation and get out of my house. No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. A man is dead, Scudder. His life ended, his body pillaged and buried in a shallow grave. That's not... That's nothing to do with... No, leave me be, you can't do this to us. From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please! Go! Enough! What foe retribution is this? Son... Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look! To Credence! What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers all were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. So you're here to protect Beloved? Protect him from what? From corruption. From perdition. From my blood. It runs in his veins. But most, most of all, I must protect him from corruption by his wily cousin, Credence. It takes a bad and to catch a bad one, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid, west of here, 
on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole, west, got it. What of credence? Why do you believe him bad? He was a hellion as a baby, and no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue. Just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. He seems harmless enough. Simple, I dare say. No one must trust an idiot. He chose to look like one, and he's fooling all of you. Beloved needs no snake to lead him astray. I'll cut their bonds and set the boy aright. Are you sure Credence is guilty? It seems far-fetched. I have watched him on his own, unseen. I know a bad one, for I am one of them, and I tell you with no doubt, so is he. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then, make our own minds up. I speak the truth, you'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. So, we'll find out who. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? Aye, he's here to protect you, as a father ought. Acting the father, now he's six feet under. I'd laugh if he hadn't tormented us so while alive. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. Leave Credence be. My cousin didn't. He's not... Look, if there's bad blood, it is mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter if badness is in his blood? Do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... We... It, in my dreams I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. I wish to think of him no more. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. I will, if I can. There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence is... It's hide, perhaps.
Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. Quite the library for a man who can't read. A plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? We've learned enough. They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. We must confess! Beg for mercy! I will not hang. I can't carry the burden! <laughs> you can. And you will. Soon we'll put it behind us. New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed the man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No. What the? Jed, no one move, including you, Jed. Thank God you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either, until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence... The Scudder Boy. The Scudder Boy plays the fool. Plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. And the postman passed with a payroll. You took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you going to do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Beloved Scudder, you could have put a stop to this tragic affair, but you did not. Not even your father's return made you end your mischief. I admit you're not the only culprit. I'd like to offer you salvation, but I cannot. I'll get you for this credence, Scudder! No. You won't. I can change! I know that now! I... I can be a better man! Now we'd all like to believe that. But it's too late. You walked into the darkness. That path has led you here.
So this is my death. So small and shameful. Just like my life. <laughs> to, to end the haunting. You killed the haunted. Oh, that's twisted. I like it. Let's go, Red, before we kill another Scudder. Jedediah Scudder, your son may be born to hang, and your nephew a manipulative murderer. But the fact remains, you are the lingering dead, and we have a job to do. They'll be better off without you. If you want to say goodbye to your father, the moment is now. I said my goodbyes a long, long time ago. Son, let that make you a better man. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. Your old man was a pox. Good riddance. I suppose that's so. So very moving. Let's leave them to it. Jedediah Scudder, though you may worry for your son, it's time to let him go. Beloved's mistakes are his own. With luck, he'll make fewer. My son, you will always be that brown-eyed boy looking up at me. That boy is dead and done and gone. I did my best. I have loved you. I know this now. Goodbye, Jed. There is nothing left for you here. Now, if you don't mind, I need a private word with my cousin. <laughs> this should be good. I've no wish to be around for that. Let's go. Credence Scudder, a malignant manipulator. You killed a man in cold blood and tried to lay the murder on your cousin. With the least of your many mischiefs, you brought the tormented soul of an anguished father back from the dead. Sir, please, please, sir, I beg of you. Bah! That soft shite will work on me no more. Time to cut the bad from you. See what's left. This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. He's dead. You've killed him. What is wrong with you? Get out of my house, murderer. No. Leave him to his grief. It's a bad day to be beloved Scudder. <laughs> 